of people, especially in Britain, because I know the statistics of how many elder uses trains and tubes. At the beginning, I would like to thank Dr. Patrick for helping me all through this year, from an idea to have a design. The second person is Dr. Danny, the person who have challenged my, my limited beliefs with myself, that for every time I went to him, he said, go and do more research. I did it for the first time. The second time I went to him, he said, go and do more research. For the third time, I, I told him, I don't know. I did my research. But he always had these right questions when you don't know the answer of them. Without him, I would say I wouldn't have reached to today. I wouldn't have implemented my idea to a design. To give you a presentation overview, what I'm going to do here today, We're, I'm going to have a background, aims and objectives, the journey of design, existing solutions, a comparison, and achievements, and finally, recommendations. So what does 1.6 billion person mean? I would like to ask you right now, and would be great to listen from you, what's the answer of it? Dr. Patrick? What do you mean by 1.6 billion person? Yeah, that's my question. Yeah, well that's 1.6 billion person is the number of people or persons who uses tubes and trains in Great Britain in one year. That's even 1.6 billion is one seventh of the world. Could you imagine if this design and this invention could help at least 100,000 elders? This number is a range from 17 to 70 years old. And the story goes back to back in London in December. And I'm from Africa, and we're famous of getting everything in the bag. Like, if you see my bag, it's, it's 57 by 90 centimeters, and it's fully, I cannot even put my nail clipper inside. It's 32 kilograms, and it's fully. They even put a tag on it. Take care. It's heavy. And this, why I mentioned this story? because it happened to me, and I'm 24. When I was in the tube station, I found the biggest problem that I had. I needed to lift my bag for more than 34 steps. And that's, I'm 24. Imagine what would happen if a train to the, uh, up to the, uh, uh, the station, at least you have 30 steps. There's no elevators and escalators. That's why, my aim and my belief that this design is going to be affordable. It's going to be, uh, it, it's going to assist elders to climb up the stairs that eat with minimizing their back pain from holding heavy bags. These are my five aims and objectives. You can see here, I would say them in brief. It's portable, should be reliable, fit big luggage lightweight design, and finally, the price range should be affordable for elders and for everyone. To discuss them more, what do I mean by portable? I mean it could fit in the luggage area in trains. So it should be by 90, by 50, by 70 centimeters. Reliable, and that's the main important of this design, it should lift 32 kilograms, which is the maximum weight you could withstand in a bag. Fit big luggage to 45 pounds. So let's start with the journey. It started with a pencil and a paper. It started with an iPad, where I did the sketches, as you can see here, from my research, and the research that I found, that the best, one of the best designs is to have a triangular shape with three wheels. It will help you to climb up the stairs. It started from the first one on the left is the formal or the normal triangular shape. At the middle, I tried to make other uh, different stages of the idea, try to make it lighter, try to make it thinner, uh, thinner I mean, and slimmer too. And the last image shows you 
a simple idea of how I wanted to look at the end. Then goes to simulation by SolidWorks. I have three different designs. The first formal easy design was the triangular. Then I found out it's not suitable for climbing up the stairs. It's it's gonna like the triangular shape will hit the um, side of the step. So I've tried to take these this sharp angle out. In the second and third one, you can see it's slimmer, and you can also previous designs that I have found. Until two, three months ago, I couldn't find any design that would help me to show me how did a, a person other than me thought about the idea. The last answer I found was the only website of Google Scholar. The first and the third pictures, which are hand trucks, are hand trucks that climb the stairs by pa other patents. One of them is started in the mid 70s, and the third one it started at the beginning of the 60s. The picture in the between of them is a trolley, a trolley that climbs up the stairs. But I will tell you why it has some disadvantages and why did I didn't choose it. That's why and how my project and design fits this area. Here is the parts and components of my project. There are four main parts. The wheels, I have a set of wheels which is six, three on every side, and uh, the forces are from the bag or on the uh, frame of it. And if I'm not sure if it's clear, but the safety factor here reached up to 4.2, uh, 4.2, which means it could lift four times the weight of 30 kilograms. Uh, this design is not the first one. This is the final design. The first one has failed in the safety factor, which got 0.24 only. In a simple comparison, to show you what's the difference between my design and the other patents, I have three criteria: Price, mass to lift, and mass of designs. And the, and the green, or the black boxes on this screen, shows you the best ones in each category. You can see at the uh, step climber, it has two benefits. The price range at the beginning, it fits the criteria, but at the end, if it, if more than 45, it's more expensive for the mediocre user. And the second advantage of it is the mass of the design, it's 3.8 kilograms. Going on to hand truck one and two, they're great in lifting up the masses. But the problem of find any price for the hand truck 2 because it's a patent, but uh, I could estimate the price of hand truck 1, which is also a patent, from 67 to 230 pounds. And finally, the project. It was cheaper by more than 50% than other projects, which is 14 pounds. You would ask, from where did I get this number? And that's a good question. The set of wheels is six pounds. The material used is magne magnesium alloy, which is uh, 3.26 dollars per kilogram. And in this project, it's only 3.67. You can estimate the number and adding the um, one pound for the pins, and it would be 14 pounds. Finally, it's the only project that could withstand 130 kilograms, which is four times what I need in this project. So what I have achieved today, this project is lighter. It fits the criteria I have chosen, which is less than four kilograms. It holds four times the weight of other uh, of the uh, older trolley step climber. And finally, it fits in trains. So what is it in any bag, not even, not, not only the lo uh, large luggage? Uh, finally, I would install a locking system. A locking system that would make the user, or make the elder, rather than when he's climbing the stairs and he, if he slipped, it wouldn't go back to the beginning, it would lock itself. Today is the day I showed you a design. 
from an idea to a, fu to a full design with a pink bag to fit the uh, feminine side different colors. The second thing, I tell you I believe in this design that it would help hundreds of thousands of elders. It would help them in trains, in stations, and all these stairs, even when they're coming back from the mall. I would thank you today for listening to me, and I believe that this project will, is affordable, lighter weight, portable, and even will minimize the back pain of elders and, hang, uh, and strain and hang strings. Thank you very much for listening today. If you have any questions, I'm delighted. Thank you. Thank you for your speech. I thought I'm in the general election leader debate. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's good to see your design. Okay, uh, in your design specification, could you tell me what the step, the height of each step your, in your design? Okay, As the UK, I took it from the UP regulation step, and the steps there are from 170 to 220. My, 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 my number that I picked is 190 to fit all, most of the stairs that use in, in Great Britain. 190, 190 millimeters. Which is the difference between the center of the? I'm sure. Which is the difference between here to here, or from the center to the center? One ninety millimeter. No, one ninety millimeter. That's nineteen centimeters. Okay. Uh, you, in your design, you mentioned that you want to make it portable, but from what I see, the structure is quite, uh, still quite big. Are you thinking about, you know, make it fold into a, you know... I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to remove all of this and try to make uh, the design only on the uh, wheels. So I'm gonna have the recommendation is to make a system of, of, of wheels that would fit in, in, in different sizes of bags. So it would be, rather than this, it would be lighted by more than 80% uh, uh, of, of what I have now. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about the material for the wheels. Yes. How about the structure? What material are you going to use? No, no, my structure is magnesium alloy. My wheels are made from rubber. Uh, rubber sorry. Right, well, my question is on the magnesium alloy. Yes. Sounds very expensive. 3.26 per kilogram is expensive? Dollars. Dollars, yeah. But what's that for? Uh, the, um, the price of the, the uh, full block of the material. So, for example, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't include... Uh, so, the 3 times 3 is 9 dollars, which is 4 pounds, is the cost of the material itself. Yes, but that's just a block. I think I would put that into recommendation and write down why or how, uh, what's the price difference that would be from fabricating the stuff or from fabricating um, the material to this frame. Magnesium alloy is notoriously difficult to work with, and so difficult to turn into something. Why they become very expensive to use. It's not the cost of the raw material, it's getting the raw material to the shape you want it. Yes, machining it, joining it. Right. Well, that's it for me. Uh, can I just go through some of this? Um, I go back to the front. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah and can I stop this? Yeah. Uh, which one is your design? Uh, the back stair climber, the last one. Yes. Ah, the back stair climber. Okay. So your design is the uh, highest in terms of uh, they can carry how much load. Yes. Okay. And lightest in the design and cheapest. How do you calculate the mass of your design? Is that only the wheels or including all the st structures? Uh, I've used uh, the uh, SolidWorks mm -hmm. and by having, you could press an option mass properties, it, it would tell you the mass of all the design. The design itself 
is 1.9 kilograms, and adding up the connections and the wheels, it reaches up to uh, 3.67. And in another subject, which is related, which is CES, I found another material that would minimize the weight to uh, 1,300 uh, grams, which is 600 grams lighter. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No more questions? No okay. more questions. So may I have a... Thank you very much, okay. and uh, have a nice day. And you, please make sure you take away all your manuscripts, etc., etc. Yes. Okay. Okay. You copy everything in the book? Yes, I have copied here, but I will try to my yeah. hand and remove uh, change your